I just got a bulk 50 card submission back from CGC and it only took 15 business days for them to receive, grade, and send them back to me. They are caught up. That is lightning fast and I'm all about it. This submission has about a 50-50 mix of a bunch of vintage Japanese cards and then some modern cards like Brilliant Stars and some other alternate arts that I've pulled from some more modern sets. But overall, I'm really happy with all the grades that I got. I must be getting a lot better at pre-grading cards because there were a lot of higher grades than my last submission. All right, let's go through the cards. We're gonna start with the modern card stack and work our way to the vintage Japanese. We'll start with the appetizers and then we'll get to the good stuff. <laughs> so we have some cards from Brilliant Stars up first, a 9.5 Arceus Gold V-Star. And then we have a second one that got a 7.5. And you're probably like, how in the hell did a Pack Fresh card get a 7.5? Somehow, conveniently, it got a nice crease up here that I'm pretty sure didn't exist while the card was in the pack. So I'm not quite sure what I should do about that. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see because there's some smudgies. But it's like right here, all of a sudden, there's a crease that popped up that gave it a 7.5. I'm almost 100% sure that it would not come from the pack looking like that. So it makes me think that either it got damaged in shipping or they damaged it before they graded the card. I don't really know what to do about it if I reach out to CGC, if I just sell it online for less than the raw copy. But that was unfortunate to see. Um, I don't know where that crease came from, honestly. I don't know where it could have come from. We have the Umbreon VMAX, the Karen's Umbreon, super cool card from Brilliant Stars, Trainer Gallery. We've got another Arceus, the Rainbow Arceus in a 9. Pretty nice. Most of these got 9s and 9.5s. Nine We've got the Charizard V Full Art in a 9. And we got everyone's favorite Sword and Shield waifu, Marnie's Pride from Brilliant Stars in a 9. Oh, we're throwing one in here. This is from Fusion Strike. My favorite alternate art from Fusion Strike, the Celebi V alternate art. We actually have two of these, I think, in this stack. And this one got a 9. And then we got the big boy Charizard V-Star. Not the rainbow version, but just the regular V-Star. But we still got a 9, which is pretty awesome. I was actually thinking that that card might have had a chance at a 10. So I'm surprised that it got a 9. I was hoping maybe it would get a 9.5, 10. Because the centering on it was perfect. Really good looking card. We've got another Celebi V and a 9. They both got the same grade. And then we got all of these Evolution alternate arts that were in the collection boxes. So we got the Flareon V, the Jolteon V Max, the Flareon V Max, the Vaporeon, and the Jolteon. So these two got an 8.5, the rest of them got a 9. But I think centering and some nicks on the corners and stuff took it down to an 8.5. But otherwise, they're pretty awesome. On my eBay, I will be selling these in pairs. So like the Jolteon V and V Max will be sold together. And, you know, the Flareon V and V Max and the Vaporeon V and V Max and so forth. So those will be sold in pairs on the eBay. The link is in the description if you're interested in any of these cards today. We have an Evolving Skies Glaceon Rainbow V Max and a 9.5. Beautiful. How do you feel about Rainbow Rares? I know a lot of people uh, kind of crap on Rainbow Rares. I do think the alternate arts are much better than the Rainbow Rares if I had to pick one over the other. I wish the Rainbow Rares were unique artworks. They're unfortunately not unique. They're just the, you know, the VMAX or the V-Star version of the card and just rainbowfied. But if they were unique artworks and then rainbow, I think that would make them much cooler than they are. Well, here's some cool Japanese promo. So we have a Rescue Team DX Pikachu from 2020. This was from the Switch game, I think, the Rescue Team DX Switch game that came out. Got that in a nine. That This card I love. This is from Pokecoon or Legendary Collection. What would that be? The Radiant Collection, not Legendary Collection. The Radiant Collection in English. A Charizard. This is actually an uncommon, but in the Japanese version, you can see you have a hollow that goes all the way across the card. You do not have that in the English version. And this was a 9.5, which is super awesome. Um, but yeah, in uncommon, it's not a rare, but it's just cool. And the line of these cards, there's Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. They're all a part of the Radiant Collection or Pokecoon Collection. And they all tell a story. So, like, Charmander is with this guy as, like, a young child. And then Charmeleon is with this guy as, like, a teenager. 
And then Charizard is with this guy when he's an adult. So it tells a story throughout the evolution line, which is really cool. This is a really cool promo as well. So this was apparently for a Pokemon Center Tokyo relocation promo. So you actually had to go to the store, I believe, to get this card pack fresh. Um, I bought it online. This one got a nine, which is super awesome. And I just love it because Pikachu's wearing a, a Charizard onesie. <laughs> and it's super adorable. Not even holographic. It would have been really cool if they would have added some sort of hollow, but it doesn't even need it. It's just a really cool artwork. Then we have some Hidden Fates. We have the Charmander and Charmeleon shinies from hidden fates both of those got a nine i was hoping those would get a little bit higher it's it's tough when it comes to cgc it's like you kind of expect pack fresh like to get a nine hopefully sometimes you can get an 8.5 like we've seen already uh if you're lucky you get a 9.5 and if you're really lucky you get a 10 some people think that you know they've become more relaxed on tens recently uh i definitely didn't see that in this submission we did get on average higher grades but i was very scrupulous on going through these cards comparatively to my last cgc bulk submission which was i didn't go through as hard and grade pre-grade myself as hard as i did these cards so this one was kind of unfortunate we got the uh pikachu from dream league this got a seven uh something i missed there's a ding on the back that i missed it's like a it's like a horizontal dent which is unfortunate last card in this stack is a zapdos g from arceus it's just a hollow zapdos from arceus this got an 8.5 that was cool uh, there was a time when i was asking discord like random numbers and that was helping me choose like which set to buy basically a, a, a random card from and it was a way for me to include the people in discord in my decision making but also learn more about what cards are in each set like what are the cool cards in certain sets so this was probably like the first time i ever looked at rcs's set list and i thought the zapdos looked cool so i went online and i bought a zapdos so that was an interesting way for me to like learn more of the sets all right now we get into the meat and potatoes the vintage japanese let's go baby we got a Garchomp level X in a nine. Super awesome to see a lot of these cards get nines and 9.5s. We've got a Soul Silver Collection Gyarados in a nine. Super cool card. Oh, we got a Hidden Fates that snuck in here. We got Luc Lucario GX Shiny from Hidden Fates. So I won a giveaway from Old School Pokemon. If you guys don't know him on YouTube, definitely check him out. They did a giveaway during Christmas time, and I won a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. And this card came out of that. So that got a nine, which is super cool. We also got a Mewtwo level X. This is actually from a collection pack. It's it's basically a theme deck card, I think. Theme deck promo sort of looking card. <laughs> um, so they're fairly easy to come by and fairly easy to come by in good condition. But to get a nine, I think is still pretty awesome. And it's a Mewtwo. You can't go wrong with Mewtwo, in my opinion. Got another Garchomp c level x i think that just means cynthia c for cynthia i think um but yeah so this actually came in the same way kind of in a theme deck situation so you can still find these this also was just reprinted in the celebrations collection so if you recognize this card and you're like wait i've seen that before it's because it came out in celebrations but yeah we got that in a nine as well we got the reggie gigas level x in a nine five same situation came from a theme deck scenario we've got another me too level x in a nine so both of those got nines we got dragonite from cry from the mysterious so that was weird i always thought it was cry from the mountains for some reason but then when i got this card back i was like cry from the mysterious that's strange uh but this got an eight five a little lower than i was hoping i think but still a very cool dragonite card this one, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened at all. I haven't found, like, where the problem lies. The centering looks really good to me. There's definitely some fingerprints on the surface, which maybe that is... Maybe that's what took it down, was the fingerprints. Which, but, like, you could easily get rid of those, so... But yeah, I don't see anything else in terms of surface damage or creases or anything like that. So it was kind of unfortunate that it dropped all the way down to an 8. I thought this card had a chance at, like, PSA 10 if I would have sent it to PSA, but obviously there's something I didn't see. Still really cool to get an 8. Uh, I feel like it should have gone higher, but it is what it is. 
We got a 9-5 Leafeon from, again, from a kind of theme deck scenario. This is from the Regigigas level X pack, so it probably came out of the same theme deck as the Regigigas did. And we have another Leafeon here. Very cool in a 9 from Dawn Dash. We got Blastoise 9.5 from Galactic's Conquest. Very cool Blastoise in a 9.5, which is pretty sick. And we have a Glaceon, super beautiful card here from Dawn Dash. So we got both the Leafeon and Glaceon Hollows from Dawn Dash in a 9. We got a 9.5 Gyarados from Bandit Ring. This is a super cool card because it reminds me of the Shining Gyarados artwork where the red Gyarados is coming out of the sea and you have the guy in the boat. This is kind of like a callback to that. It's a full art. It just looks super cool. So I got a couple of these actually, and I'll be keeping one for myself. But yeah, we got this one in a 9.5 that will go for sale. We got another card that dropped a little lower than I thought it was going to get, and we got an RK9 from Magma Aqua to Ambitions. It's a hollow, and it's a super cool-looking RK9. Unfortunately, it dropped all the way down to an 8. There is some edgeware here and there, but... It seems a little harsh to me personally, but still very cool to get it back. We got an EX. We got Gyarados EX in at 9 from Flight of Legends. This was a super cool card. Very clean. Super glad it got a 9. Very, very cool. We got a Delta Species. Uh, at some point, they decided that they were going to give Pokemon a different typing than they originally were. So we have a Fighting Blastoise instead of a Water Blastoise. And this is just a really cool Blastoise artwork. Super glad it got an 8.5. Very sick. And we got a GB promo Dragonite. Look at that swirl. We got it in a 9. Beautiful Dragonite artwork. Love the GB promos. Especially the Dragonite and the Lugia. And definitely the Mewtwo. They all look very cool. All the ones that didn't make it to America. We have a Prime card. We have a Tyranitar Prime card from Reviving Legends. You know, I'm going back and discovering a lot of these sets that I never I never saw as a kid. So I bought a couple of Prime cards. I bought a couple Level Xs. I bought a couple EXs. Like, it's just fun to go back and see the different styles of cards that they put out. And to get them back in such high grades is really cool as well. This is a very cool set that hopefully I'll be able to... Oh! <laughs> Spoilers! Where's the other one? Here it is. Um, we got Web... Web series is a Japanese exclusive series that I think used reprinted artwork for the most part. I don't think they were first used in the series, but they could have been because this was 2001. This was pretty early. So maybe they took reprinted artwork, but it has the cool E-series borders and it was Japanese exclusive. So when I was looking at our Arc Arcanine cards, I saw this artwork and I was like, holy crap, that's so cool. And then I saw... There was a Growlithe with it, and I thought, man, that is so adorable. So I picked them both up, I think, in the same lot, and they both graded a 9, which is super awesome. I love that. We have E-Series, baby, the town on no map, RK9. If you guys have seen in the background, there's a Houndoom that I showed off, I think, in my last CGC return video that got a 9 from the town on no map. So very cool. I don't know. It just looks good. I love the E-Series cars, the E-Series borders. I love picking one or two up here and there in these big lots that I pick up from Japan. And we have a Versus series. Man, we're all over the board, man. Versus, Web, EX, Level X, Prime, E-Series, <laughs> Modern. We're all over the board. And uh, that's just super fun to me. I don't know. I, I like being all over the board like this. Versus series is one that I'd love to complete a binder of. I just love, you know, it's Japanese exclusive. It's got exclusive artworks across the board. And it's just super, super cool. So this one came from like a Versus Series theme deck, basically, and it's so awesome. <laughs> I love it. It got an 8.5, which I think I pretty much assumed it would get an 8.5. It's got some edge wear here and there, um, especially on the front, which I feel like the front is going to get judged a little harsher than the back. It should, in my opinion, get judged harsher than the back. And last but not least, I have four cards from this submission that I'm going to be keeping and probably cross-grading at some point to PSA to test out whether, you know, how well 9.5s from CGCs cross-grade to PSA whenever PSA decides to lower their price to something more reasonable. Um, so we do have another of these Gyarados. Both of them got a 9.5, so I'm going to keep one of them and maybe cross-grade and see if we can get a 10. We got another 9.5 of this card as well, so a good double. 
Look at that shine, man. Oh, I love that holographic pattern across the front. Gorgeous. So we're going to see if we can get a 10 from PSA on that card as well. This one I was super happy about. So this is from Reviving Legends, which was a Heart Gold Soul Silver era um, card. And it's the Umbreon. And it's so gorgeous. I love it. And it got a 9.5, which is super awesome. We're going to try and get a 10 on that as well from PSA. And we got an RK9 EX, which is a little bit off center, but I think might still be within the bounds for PSA 10. And it got a 9.5 with CGC, so we'll probably crack this eventually and see if that can get a 10 as well. So apart from these four cards, everything else you saw in this stack is going to be hopefully posted on my eBay very soon. I'll probably do them in batches, but all of these cards will be available if you saw anything that you liked. Be sure to send me an offer or, you know, just take a look at my eBay and see what's there because there's a lot of stuff there and there's going to be even more there after I get all this stuff listed. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed going through all of these amazing cards just like I did. I will have a lot more cards to, you know, send off and send back. This is kind of what I'm going to be doing this year is buying a lot of stuff from Japan, getting it back, uh, sending it in for grading, showing it off on the channel and then selling it on eBay and keeping stuff for my own personal collection. I'm, I'm playing a little bit of the arbitrage game over the next, you know, few months to just kind of see how it goes. And I think this first stack is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of all the cards today. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you on the next video.